Hi folks, today we're going to do some carrot cake pancakes. So let's start off with our ingredients here. We have uh, one cup of all-purpose flour. Uh, in this little bowl here, we've got a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of table salt, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground ginger, and then we've got two tablespoons of raisins. We've got one large egg here, uh, one tablespoon of sugar in here as well, one cup of milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract, as well as two cups of grated carrots, and two tablespoons we've got here of butter that we're gonna use to, uh, to cook the pancakes in. Now, first of all, let's start off with our getting together our dry ingredients. So what we're gonna do is mix the dry and the wet ingredients separately, and then we're gonna combine them all together in a large bowl. So what I'm gonna to do to start is our dry ingredients. So we're gonna take the, the cup of flour, we're gonna take our spices, baking powder, um, baking soda, as well as sugar here. And then what I'm gonna do is just whisk them together so that everything's evenly distributed for when we bring in the wet ingredients. I'm gonna set that aside. And now for the wet ingredients, take a small bowl here, I'm gonna put our milk. And I'm not a fan of dairy milk myself, so I use oat milk here. You can substitute any kind you like. Got our vanilla extract and our egg. What we'll do is get these mixed all nice together. And now we're going to fold in the carrots. So to start off with the uh, shredding carrots, have you, if you'd like to know how to shred them with a box grater, please see our carrot fried rice recipe for a tutorial. I'm gonna put in this carrots here. Fold those in together nicely. And now we're gonna combine, well, we're getting ready to combine those. I'm gonna take one of my pads of butter here and place it on my preheated um, skillet there so that'll be ready because I'm about to be ready to have this mixture together so what we're going to do next is add the carrots egg milk vanilla sugar mixture in here with our dry ingredients and no, we don't have to mix these up too, too much. We just want to mix it all together just until all the ingredients are incorporated together. So when you see uh, on a recipe, you just mix until incorporated. It means you don't want to whisk them together and over stir them because uh, that can make the, the mixture too tough. So what you want, it'll by stirring it not too much, allows you to get that fluff, that light fluffiness that we all love in pancakes. Right, so that's nice and mixed together, so not too much dry stuff left over. And then we are going to add in our raisins as well. And you can add more raisins, or this can be optional, however you like. Um, Again, the, we've got a carrot cake theme and you usually find raisins in there. You could also add something like walnuts, uh, would also be delicious in there. So now we've got our preheated skillet. So I just kept it warm on low. I'm gonna add that, that second pat of butter to make sure we get the surface covered here. Um, this is a great recipe to make with kids in the kitchen. Um, it's a great way to sneak also vegetables into your breakfast. You know, always having a hard time getting 
as many vegetable servings as possible. So it's a great way to start off with that. Or also one of my favorite things growing up was a uh, breakfast for dinner night. That was always a, a big event in our house growing up. So that's a great way to go. Um, still getting veggies. All right, so um, if you're making a large batch like this and you're not quite ready to serve, one thing you can do is to uh, heat up an, uh, your oven at about 200 and just place the finish, once you've finished cooking the pancakes there, um, you can save them in the oven so when you're ready to, to batch them all, once you've made your whole batch of batter here, they'll still all be warm and ready for you. So I had, I had the skillet on low to have it ready, so I'm just gonna turn it up to medium. Medium high for the skillet to get it going. So while we, you can see the, I don't know if you can pick up the sound of that, but really once you start to see some bubbles at the top of, of, the, under, of the uncooked side, is when you're going to be about ready to flip them. Um, and while we are waiting for that first batch to cook, I know I told you that we could do it in the carrot fried rice, but we can also do it here. So right here I've got a box grater. Um, box graters are a great resource for the kitchen uh, utensils because you can slice thinly slice like block cheese, which sometimes could be a less expensive way to purchase cheese. Um, you can do smaller grates for that. And then on this side is the one that we're gonna use the most frequently. So what I have here is just a peeled carrot. And you know, it can be a bit, especially if you have kids helping you in the kitchen, it can be um, difficult. And a lot of people tend to, tend to go with the box grater like this, which could be a great way to snap and scrape your hand. Um, so what I like to just do is just pop the carrot in half. So it makes it a lot easier to, and it doesn't have to be pretty because we're going to grate it. Um, it's, so that makes it a lot easier to handle. So with your non-dominant hand, you're just going to hold on to the box grater here and uh, bring the, the carrot or if you're doing cheese or onions or anything, um, potatoes, uh, just bring it at a little bit of an angle and just slowly grate in a downward motion. You know, sometimes people tend to treat it like a race. Go, whoop, whoop. Um, and you just don't need to do that because that's just a good way to scrape your hand. Um, and I can tell you that I've done that to myself when I've been in a rush and thought I could do everything. So just a downward motion like that. And you're good to go with your nice grated carrots. And again, this is an inexpensive kitchen tool that's very versatile. Um, we use it a lot in our capillary food bank recipes. So I highly recommend um, adding this to your kitchen. And now, so we're looking to see these pancakes here. They've got like a nice little coloring around the edge and the bubbling up top. So I'm just gonna do a little flip there. Beautiful. And there you are. So then it cooks just a few minutes on each side. Um, you know, you'll start to see around the edge when the, the, the batter will come together and start cooking. And then also you can kind of to feel with your hands, um, you know, does it move about or is it getting a little bit more firm? And then you're ready to go for your carrot cake pancakes and feel free to top these with maple syrup. Um, I'm also a fan of using preserves or jam for my, um, for my pancakes. And then um, another thing is since these are carrot cake flavored, you can make your own like, cream cheese frosting if you like, or whipped cream cheese would also be delicious on these. So hope everyone enjoys our carrot cake pancakes.